I think all of us know that miniature is a very ancient art form and it sort of originated in this sort of 16th century Mughal mm -hmm. courts mm -hmm. and then it sort of evolved since then. So can you give us a little history of the form? It actually comes a little further behind ah. the, or further before the Mughals. It's yeah. actually originated from Persia. Okay. And that's where the Mughals actually brought it mm. to the Indian subcontinent. What happened was when Humayun was exiled to Persia, he yes. brought two uh, miniature painters from Persia to the Indian subcontinent, mm. who were basically Mir Sayyid Ali and Khwaja Abdul Samad. Right. So these two were basically the initial, let's say, um, artists who introduced miniature painting to mm. the subcontinent. Mm. And, and Sorry to interrupt, but so then that means that the sort of origins are Persian. Exactly. So are we still following the Persian tradition? Actually, there's Persian and then uh, Persian influence uh, kind of combined with a lot of the current, let's say, or the contemporary um, art forms of the Indian subcontinent. Okay. So there's uh, Buddhist influence, there's Jain influence, there's Hindu influence, there's uh, which is why basically we have so many different schools of miniature paintings, ranging from Kangra to uh, Pahari school, to you know Mughal, to Hindu, and to mm -hmm. Jain, etc. So there are a, a huge variety of schools, and which basically um, include influences from all sorts of um, art forms in areas that were actually uh, previously existing within those areas. Oh, so okay. art forms like, for example, Jain uh, miniature has a very different sort of stylization, mm -hmm. and uh, Pahari miniatures have a different sort of stylization. Mm -hmm. So um, the Persian, let's say, uh, stylization kind of combined with the um, Indian art form, mm. and it transformed into the Mughal art form and the Jain art form, the Pahari art form, etc. So there are a huge variety of uh, schools of miniature painting. Ooh, so, I didn't yeah. know that. That's fascinating. <laughs> yeah. Tell me more, Professor. So um, <laughs> where do you want me to continue from? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, so uh, Humayun brought back two miniaturists exactly. to his court. Exactly. And he was like, hey, this is fascinating and this is a beautiful art form and I would like to see more of it. Yeah, so basically what happened was that the Mughals were the patrons of the miniature paintings and so um, they started working as court painters. Okay. So by court painters, it means that they started making portrait, portraits and, you know, court scenes, etc. and portraits of the kings and glorifying them, basically. Mm. So if you see all those old miniature paintings <laughs> yeah. of these Mughal kings, you, know, you see the this, yeah, and, and those profile. gold halos behind their heads, uh -huh. basically uh, kind of raising them to this prophetic sort of mm. level. Mm. 